coming up in this week's episode. Look at that red. <laughs> How good is that? I've got to show you the front as well. That's where it looks the best, I reckon. <sighs> oh my gosh. Cape York, this is the trip of a lifetime. Okay, two weeks. Now, we've done our first week. We've made it to the very top. We've been over to Thursday Island in the Torres Strait today. Absolutely stunning footage and some really great adventure as well. So that's going to be coming up in the next few weeks, three or four weeks. In fact, that two weeks of travel will probably be spread out over four or five weeks because there is just so much content. There is so much to talk about this area up here of north queensland it is absolutely stunning and it's worth everyone's time to put this on your bucket list to get up here but before we get on with it okay so stay tuned for that it's coming your way it's also everything including gunshot weeper lockhart river chili beach some other highlights uh, there's so many bramwell station jardine uh, river ferry crossing I mean, even getting all the way up here to Seisha or Seisia, as the locals say, uh, it's just jam-packed. There's so much, so you're going to love that. All right, but I wanted to talk about the canopy because this has been awesome. Same with the van. Now, the canopy is a mode 4x4 accessories. As you know, if you've been watching our show, you would have seen the build and the guys at McCormack doing all of this in store for us with our MSA gear and the lighting and just making it just everything that we could dream of to have in the back of the canopy. They've done such a great job. But talking about the canopy, I thought it's probably a good opportunity seeing that we've actually been using it in this environment, like completely off-grid and off-road touring. First of all, made by Zone RV, it is mode 4x4 accessories. It is a composite fiberglass material with aluminium fitting. So obviously they've nailed it with the Zone RVs taking all of that knowledge with the composites into a lighter stronger canopy like this they have nailed it you would know with our previous canopy awesome canopy but we needed to drop weight we were definitely uh well overweight on our gvm and our gcm we dropped 200 kilograms pretty well the same kind of setup with all the draw systems but just through its construction dropped 200 kilos in weight so that's a massive tick if you're touring in any format whether you're towing a van like us or full-time or you just you, you, weights are a big issue we know that with your gvm and gcm stronger and that is really because again this composite material can manage heavy weights better than anything the un aluminium toolboxes the saddle drawers down here and also the mud guards, you know, if you're going down gunshot, if you're gamer than I am, I've got some footage of some crazy stuff that people did while we were there, and you were to damage any of this, it's interchangeable. So you could just literally take the broken bits out and put new bits on. Absolutely fantastic. And is it dust proof? Yes, check this out. You can see from the seals all the way around, if you check here, look at that. I mean, that you can see where the seals join and where the dust has been out and all your stuff then inside is kept nice and clean and dust free this is pretty cool actually this is something i picked up from bunnings it's i think like a gardener's knee protector but anyway if you're a caravaner and you're getting to the ripe old age of 50 or more like myself happy birthday to me uh that is a godsend for your knees but i also use it just in here and that way through those corrugations here that we've you know i'm, I'm not going to bring you all fifty thousand of them in the episode but believe me there's a lot of them um that's perfect then it protects it when it comes back against the door here i've just put that in there so that this 
wasn't banging against uh, the the uh, actual canopy door, the wing there. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about that and just talk it up because it is absolutely 100% does exactly what it says it's going to do. Okay, it's lighter, stronger, dust proof. Amazing. So good one. Check out Mode Canopies if you want more information or you can go to our website as well and there'll be a link through there on not only on our van but on the canopy as well. All right. Get back on with the show. Stay tuned for the Cape. It is awesome. We're going to go head off in a minute. Check the sunset out. We're at Loyalty Beach Caravan Park. There's a fish and chip shop down there apparently that is the best in the Cape. So looking forward to that. still be about 70 or 80 clicks from Cobalt Gorge which looks stunning we've got a tour booked in there at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning so uh, we'll get in tonight we probably won't worry about cooking food will we Katie? Uh, I've got a restaurant fingers crossed me. yep lazy man's meal tonight so which will be lovely and then uh, yeah tomorrow tour we well, might stay tomorrow night we're not sure yet we also want to check out another place an Aboriginal led uh, campground in Hot Springs called Tullaroo. Tullaroo. Sounds fantastic. So, see if we can get a booking there, then we'll, we'll flip a coin and see what we're going to do. Okay, price of diesel here in Georgetown. It's two dollars thirteen. Something I didn't mention there back at Corumba is that the fuel surprised us. It was diesel at one dollar ninety nine point nine cents a litre. Yeehaw! Pip the two dollar mark. Isn't that good? I'm going to get filling up, and then we will be back on the road and hopefully be sunset because uh, even though we've only got say whatever it is 70 or 80 clicks it's going to take us over an hour and a half to get there because the last 50 k's are dirt road and corrugated Katie. Boom. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? Good. Just unpacking. Are you a little bit bounced? Do you know, I, I actually think that was pretty damn good. So I yeah. that one little section. <laughs> hey, there was one that was not overly enjoyable, but in the main. So true. Yeah. Do you know, they have actually graded the last two kilometres. So it's sort of like your reward after 43 kilometres yeah. of... Eh. But anyways, uh, Tony... I set up over there. We have just got in just at the end of the sunset, but that's all right. Yeah. How are you, mate? Bit cabin fevered? I'm good. Yeah, I think it was about 450 kilometres today, so a decent uh, drive day. Uh, but we have literally just pulled in, set up. Not all sites are created equally, are oh they, Katie? Oh, my God. Look at that. We've got it chopped up, and we've got the extra step. <laughs> Just to give us a little bit of height. I need like six more inches on my legs to be able to get in and out of the van. <laughs> We're level, babe. That's the main thing. Yeah, true. Got the Starlink up because our episode's just gone live, so that's pretty cool. 
Uh, it's a little bit dark, isn't it, really, the GoPro? But look, we're going to duck down to the main restaurant. It looks have stunning, the pool area. Have some dinner. Yeah. Have a glass of wine. Yeah, Celebrate look. Kate getting the e-book done. Travel day snacks. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but ice creams. You know when you normally buy a four pack of drumsticks and uh, at Woolies or Coles, and because you're buying them like that, they're kind of, you know, good value. But then when you buy them individually at a server, they're like five bucks fifty. Yeah. Yeah. The, How that, much are they? Like five hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, they got like twenty dollars for four. <laughs> that were good though. That Anyways, good. that's what happens. Oi. What are you doing, mate? I can get up here. Now. All right. Well, let's get cracking, guys. Let's do it. Oh, gorge. What a great experience. Absolutely loving it. We're here for two nights. Mm. I wish we were here for a week. Oh, I know. Well, it's actually quite a surprise. I mean, mm. considering the drive-in, and you do have to take that into account, it is a, a decent drive-in on the corrugated road. Some sections are really good. Some mm, could use a little bit of a grade, hey. But once you get here, what a surprise mm. to see what they have on offer and then of course to be able to get out and do one of their famous gorge tours mm -hmm. i mean that's the reason you're coming okay there is plenty to choose from as far as your accommodation options you've got powered and unpowered there is a new self contained section which is where we are in mm. we actually snagged at the very last site so bookings are essential yeah which is amazing considering how many sites there are like it's pretty decent pretty amazing now the amenities blocks have had an upgrade so they're fantastic uh there's free gas barbecues and covered areas like sort of camp kitchen style which is great mm. and then they've got their main i guess hub as far as entertainment area is most of it is actually covered however there is some open air seating which looks back out across a beautiful billabong and the infinity pool looks very inviting doesn't it yes. we might have to try that out later yes we definitely will when we arrived in last night we were quite late mm. because you have got about 70 kilometers there from georgetown uh 40 odd kilometers of that is on that unsealed yep. road the last two kilometers is a real gift because that's actually been graded so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, time just to breathe. We're here. And then you you do check in at reception. Uh, because we rocked in uh, just after six o'clock, mm. we ended up checking in at the main bar area and then also booked in for dinner. So you want to book in for dinner as well if you want to enjoy really restaurant quality food and a really great full menu, yep. full bar service. And kids are welcome as well. So it, it is a really great communal area you can meet some of your fellow campers or talk about your adventures here in the in the gorge that you've already experienced now for us our first tour today was to actually do the Cobalt Gorge Nature Refuge Tour. It is about a three hour mm. tour you can either go in the morning or the afternoon. Look either way uh, I mean it is winter but you're going to be either finishing in the height of the sun or yeah. starting in the height of the sun so really depends what you prefer it was absolutely stunning oh it sure was and it's a fully guided tour so you mm. jump aboard their awesome big four-wheel drive buses and it's about a 15 minute drive from the main reception area out to where the gorge is located you get so much information mm. from the guides which is just great all about the history of the area all about the history of the pioneers and then the family that own this property how the gorge was discovered and then you're off the bus for a great interpretive talk and we actually had three groups out there at the same time three mm -hmm. bus loads of people not too many though because we all did different sections of this tour at the same time so it never felt crowded it's quite intimate really easy to have that personalized experience with your guide we started off on the boat tour that takes you all the way as far as the boat can go all the way up through that spectacular gorge which really has only been found in very recent history so it's quite special to think that it's been here forming over millions of years and you know here we are able to sit on a flat bottom boat with 12 other humans and actually enjoy what a stunning location it is
was Glenn he was was good. He, yeah. his knowledge base was outstanding and after talking to our fellow campers all six of the guides that are working here have obviously done a lot of training have found a real passion in what they're talking about mm -hmm. because they are exceptional well worth the money to get onto one of the tours again you need to make sure that you book in because they do book out you see all the different remember I was talking about the layers just look at that one wow this okay. How's that? Wow. Pretty cool, eh? This is a really cool area. This is cool. And what about the temperature? That's pretty cool as well. <laughs> so here's the, uh, here's the termite track that I'm showing you, or the tunnel. So have a look on the surface. And then it's up underneath here, up to the left, where you'll see the mound. And it, this one is active. How cool is that, so you can see the track. Wow. wow. As we rocked in, the next tour groups were all ready to get on the bus and do the afternoon tour. The flora, the fauna, mm -hmm. geology, the history, yep. geography. I mean, talk about having a lesson plan laid out for you if you've got kids. Do you think that looks like an ice cream cone? Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool, eh? Yeah. <laughs> but with this one, the ice cream section, that's the seeds. Ooh. Ooh and the cone is the fruit. Yeah? Oh. So it fruits outside of the seed. Pretty clever, eh? So always have a tree. Can you see all the pods in there? Oh. All the seeds in the pod? Seeds in the pod. Mm. If you're traveling with exactly. with kids that uh, should be at school, well, this is really your whole week's lesson yeah. in one tour. It was... It was outstanding. Yeah, it was. Look, and and getting the different perspective of the gorge as well. So being mm. down in it, on the water, in yeah. the boat, being able to see the freshwater crocodiles. Wow. You know, the spotted There's some archer huge fish. crocs here. Yeah. I mean, they are freshwater, so they don't necessarily want to eat you, but I reckon they'd give you a nip if you let them have a go, wouldn't they? Oh, being able to see them basking in the sun on the banks mm. and then also when we came back through, you know, doing what they do best in the water, seeing all the different types of fish that call this gorge home as well was just beautiful and then looking up and seeing, you know, the bird life soaring high above us and then to be able to do the short walk, it's about one and a half kilometres quite easy although mm. there are areas that are fairly rocky and you're sort of traversing up over the top of the gorge to be able to then have that perspective of looking back down mm. and I think the highlight other than being on the boat and down on the water is the newly installed glass bridge walkway that spans the gorge and you know if you're brave you can go out there, look down past your feet at the gorge. It gives you beautiful views of the gorge in either direction. Mm. A great photo opportunity. I love that we didn't feel rushed at mm. any part of this tour. Yeah. Uh, because it's only really, I think, one and a half kilometre return, this actual circle and out onto the, the glass bottom see-through bridge. There's moments probably every 
50 to 100 metres where your guide is stopping and yeah. talking to you about bush tucker, yeah. um, medicinal uses of it, the history of the Indigenous people and how they applied these different foods and fruits to help their culture survive for eons so mm. we really love that part of it yep. jasper wasn't so keen on the glass bottom no i was really surprised he uh he was like mm, okay this is beautiful i'm off I'm here. happy to get over the other side but he loved the hike and taking in all of that information i have to say glenn was so inclusive jasper was the only yep. child on our tour but there were plenty of other children amongst the other tour groups as well glenn making him feel so included in the yep. conversation as we walked through that environment so just awesome and all in all about three hours hmm. they do um, advise you obviously sunscreen wear your hat really good walking shoes take a bottle of water i thought it was great that they had water fill stations throughout the entire tour mm. even on various parts of the walk you could stop and fill your water bottle it is a good tip actually if you have got kids or you know you, you like a, a little snack do take a couple of yeah. little muesli bars or some snacks for the kids or for yourself as well. And as you say, there's plenty of water um, that you can refill that. So we love this experience. We're probably going to have a pretty lazy afternoon. We will head down to the infinity bar. Mm. Uh, well, it's the infinity pool and then hit the infinity bar yeah. next. <laughs> After that for maybe a couple of drinks, a good night's sleep. And then we'll be hitting the road again tomorrow on our way to Andara. Yes. Lava caves. Oh, I'm so excited about this. And we've heard great things mm. about the tours there in Andara. I do want to just give a special mention to the ranger, Paul, the guide, who uh, took some time to give some very special rocks to Jasper that he'd collected, which was just beautiful, some agate. So thank you, Paul. Thank you. And to also his wife, Carolyn, for checking us in. Just lovely to meet fellow travellers during our, our journey. And uh, it always makes it for us, isn't yeah. it? It's really about the people. So all in all, an awesome time, awesome group of people here. Put it on your bucket list and come and visit. Yeah, it's well worth that corrugated drive to get here. <laughs> Super weather, but this has been the coldest morning for how far north we are. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised. I know. I guess we're kind of, I don't know, in. We're tucked in somewhere in, the, in the gorge. In the gorge. Yeah. It's a gorgeous wife. <laughs> oh. yeah, it's a good start to the day. Tell your wife she's gorgeous. All right. So we're heading to Andara Lava Caves. Tubes. Tubes. They're caves. There's, okay. Well. But I think yeah, they're the referred Andara to as tubes. tubes. Yes. Uh, that should be cool. Yeah, the volcanic tubes. Everybody that we have run into here at Cobalt Gorge has said to us, if you're headed to Andara, you are going to just be blown away by how good that experience is. Are you looking forward to getting inside the tubes? Yep. <laughs> yeah? You going to let your face know about it? <laughs> 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 oh, mate, I know. We just we just wake you up. All right, it is 7.30. Uh, we've said goodbye to Cobbled Gorge. Mm, yeah, that was great. That was a wonderful time. And, yeah. You know, really, again, it's the, the staff there that make that place so special, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, what else do we have to tell you? There was something and I can't remember. Oh, okay. I don't know. We're driving on bitumen. No, not on bitumen. On, oh, I know what dirt. it is. Yeah, so we've got to that... Treacherous 44, 45, 50 kilometres, whatever it is, of, you know, corrugation. My favourite thing. But this is really just getting us all geared up for 
It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's pretty funny, like, Tony rating this on the way in, and he <laughs> said, you know, between 0 and 10, he rates it as a 0.5. I was like... I'm a bit nervous. Mm. I don't think I want to ask him what he's rating the cape at. I reckon there were some sevens in there for about four or five kilometres. It's a really bad stretch. Okay. We'll anyway, ask Tony what he thinks. We're going <laughs> we're gonna to get the drone up and get some beautiful yeah. shots uh, and hopefully not run into other traffic because yeah. the sun can be very blinding, leaving early or coming in late as we did. Yeah. Coming up over some of these crests, just drive with your headlights on and no matter what time of the day, mm. when you're on this kind of, you know, Bulldust, it's it's really blinding. So yeah, it is. All right, okay. let's do let's it. Let's do it. Mm. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you like that? Dad jokes. Uh, Here we go. On the road. <laughs> this is actually the best section, mate. So enjoy this. This is the good section. Yeah. Uh, Tire pressures, 25 psi in the van. Obviously, we got the dual axle back there, and I've dropped the vehicle down to 30 psi. Uh, obviously, you'd have to check your your tires and, and the information for yourself, but that's what we've done. Right, uh, no. here's the back. End. experience all right we're packing it in we're only here for the one night we're in the unpowered sites it they're drive-through sites where we are which is fantastic yeah it's pretty good i didn't really know what to expect but um level we've stayed hitched which is awesome yes it's um it's got a caravan park vibe but in a beautiful bush environment really lovely setting and that first tour we did wow it, it truly is wow it's Definitely. We haven't seen anything like it before, have we? We haven't, and I, even the pictures that you see in the, the brochures, I don't think really do it justice no. for the experience that it is. I mean, it's phenomenal, and you've got to think this happened millions of years ago. Incredible. Uh, in fact, it is known as the, the largest and longest lava tubes in the world. They stretch over 160 kilometers yeah crazy and uh, beautiful a hundred of them are actually um i guess still caves and you you can walk through them or you you can walk through them with a guide certain ones so yeah. sean our tour guide he drove us out there on the bus uh very uh good character wasn't he and on our right hand side possibly australia's coldest swimming pool <laughs> <laughs> 
true Aussie character. He is a Sean. true Aussie character. It's good to note that you can't access the Andara Volcanic National Park unless you are coming on a guided tour, right. either from here at Andara Experience, which is a Discovery Parks now, or there are other tour operators that operate out of Mount Surprise. All right, which is no surprise. <laughs> now, uh, we've got a couple of minutes before our next tour, so we, we thought we'd stop here just to uh, not interrupt the rest of the, we the like group. Yes, we we'll so quickly. Uh, look, the, the tour itself, we went to three different cathedrals and caves uh, the walking down through the boardwalks is really well managed so it's really moderate where the bus stops to where you actually go and walk through these lava tubes mm. is a very short distance so yeah. any level of fitness could actually do this yeah for sure jasper you're Would a little you bit think? unsure about the first one <laughs> you weren't what, too sure about what was the it about it um the dark Okay, there you go. Scared of the dark. Still needs mum and dad. Yeah, that's nice. That's all right. You can be scared <laughs> of the dark for as long as you want. What we're about to do now, though, is the Sunset Wildlife Tour. Okay. And this looks awesome. And we've had some other campers over at Cobble Gorge say to us, oh, it's yeah. amazing. We're about to see thousands of bats flying out of the cave, mm. going to collect their insects for the night. And while they're trying to do that, we're hoping that we might see a lot of reptiles as well yes. doing their thing. And hopefully they're getting a feed on bats. Yeah, well, the we circle have, of life, well, can you hear it? We have a feed it? on cheese and... The circle of life! <laughs> it's singing in my head. <laughs> yeah, and we have our feed of cheese and bickies and oh, a glass gosh. of bubbles, I believe. Awesome. All right, let's bring it on. Uh, I think the rest of the group is waiting for us. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, and then we're going to dinner. Yes. Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe and share our channel. And if you'd like more information on full-time RV travel and living, visit our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com. There you'll find loads of free resources, our weekly podcast, caravan cooking recipes, our monthly Go RV magazine articles and much more. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care of yourself and your family and happy trails. This is a sandpaper fig, do you remember? Oh yeah, I remember. This is a fig tree, fellas. So there's a fig tree. Um, once Whoops. it's black, it can be picked straight off of the tree. Whoa. Does that feel like sandpaper? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember what Buddy told us not to do with it? Um, okay. The glass bridge. Because you might get jelly legs on Dad. What? Alright, so before we go on the bridge, 
we have to put some covers onto our shoes. Okay, so how was that experience, mate? I did not like it. You didn't like it? What didn't you like about it? The glass. Yeah. <laughs> I don't trust glass. You don't trust it. Okay, fair enough. Have a look. Have a look. 